Hi folks, Dan Bedanda here, and today I'm going to debunk the Pangea Theory. Now according to the Pangea Theory, the entire world was all connected into one giant continent. Then they broke away and floated apart. But today using simple science, we're going to debunk that. Now as you can see here, we're going to sink full of water and a bowl, okay? I want you to use your imagination. Okay? Imagine this bowl is the world. Okay, and you got, um, you got the, the whole... Uh, North America, South America, and so on over here, and you got Asia, Europe, and whatnot over here. Now you got the east, and you got the west here. So in between is all dry land, but lower levels of the earth, of course. And uh, the continents over here and over here are higher levels, higher altitudes. So what happened was, um, you know, according to the Bible and many other, uh, all ancient cultures actually, all speak about a flood. A great flood occurred on this earth. You know, whether you want to believe it or not, it happened. You know, the Bible says it, uh, ancient China says it, the Mayans, Aztecs, and so on. They all record a great flood that took place on the earth. All with the same story. No contradictions. Now, according to the Pangera theory, the entire world was all connected. Well... Little to the truth to that, it was connected. But the thing is, the plates, uh, the continents never shifted apart. And they said all the continents were all of one. And it was already ocean on the earth. It was all of one. And when they broke apart, because you can see Africa fits in here and in the South America area, which is not true because you would have to shrink Africa but uh, about 40% smaller. And put it on an angle to fit it in and remove most of the islands and parts of uh, South America and Central America to make that happen. And why would the rest of the um, continents float apart in Africa just the only continent that went on a little uh, tilt? It doesn't happen. That's why it's called dairy. It's not uh, scientific proven. But we're going to demonstrate here. This is science. Science is demonstrating something. And we're going to, in uh, Pangea, they can never demonstrate this theory because to, to say uh, continents float is like to say this rock here is going to float to the other side of the sink. As you can see it's completely submerged in underwater. It's not going to happen. Now again you know to all ancient cultures and the Bible and whatnot uh, uh, the, you know that says the, the great flood when it occurred it rained for 40 days and 40 nights and also explains that all the water mostly was under the earth. And that's why when you go into the ocean and all that, a lot of deep sea divers see springs bursting out with water still coming out of the, under the earth today. And it's scientifically proven that there's uh, findings of thousands, you know, hundreds if not thousands of cities underwater. Now these cities wouldn't exist if the continents floated apart. And you've got to understand the cataclysm events that would take place of continents moving. They'd shift a little, but they don't move. They don't float. So now we're going to demonstrate the flood. So this is the flood taking place. Let's slow it down for a minute. It took 40 days and 40 nights according to the Bible. It should be take 40 seconds here. And it's a smaller scale simulation obviously. Now as you can see, all the little lands are all on the water now. Now the continents are appearing. And eventually the higher levels, high altitudes of land are going to be covered in water. And as the Bible and ancient cultures say, the whole world is covered underwater during this great flood. So now you can see the entire world simulating right in this plate here. The entire world is now submerged completely underwater. Now again, you visualize this is the West, and it's the Americas, and over here is Europe and so on. So now, 40 days, 40 nights are over. And it's also the waters from underneath that were springing up. It stopped. It slowed down actually the waters underneath. But now the water subsided now. And land begins to appear. As the land appears now, you can see see all the land over here and over here. You know, again, now what's known today is North America, Central America, South America, and uh, Europe. And Asia and so on. And it's the same way with the uh, the Pacific Ocean as well. So that's all that happened. The plates never shifted. 
all that happened was the water filled the entire world when it subsided. It, um, the water never subsided at these low levels of wor the world. And again, scientists find all the time, marine biologists and archaeologists and whatnot, they find uh, lost cities under the ocean constantly. And how would those cities get under the ocean if the, uh, if the continent shifted? It's not possible. Yeah, and again, this is debunks the whole Pangea theory. And now you have today's world. Now you have this great body of ocean. You have the Americas here, and you have Europe over here. So that's all happened. The water just never subsided that much. And still today we have, you know, underground springs still bursting open to keep the water at its level like it is today. And it's the same dirty, another quick example. Is to say, I own property here, and you own this house over here. Okay, we just built a trench between our properties. And as you see, we just had a flood. It went up to, say, our second story windows. Okay, when the flood, we, you know, a great earthquake, uh, I mean, a great uh, hurricane happened, and we, our uh, homes got flooded. And the water went all the way up to our second story windows. Now, when the water went away, and here's a trench between our yard now. Now it's full of water. Did our houses, were they connected at one point? And did they actually float away from each other? No, it didn't happen. And that debunks the entire Pangea theory.